So today we're going to take a look at the mid-court ball. Um, it's actually one of the trickier shots in tennis, even though it looks quite simple. I imagine the scenario, you know, you, you've hit a great shot and you get that kind of mid-court easy reply where you want to come up the court and really take control of the point. Um, massively important shot, so let's take a look. The tactical benefits of this shot is obviously, you know, I want to take the ball early. I'm looking to take time away from my opponent. Like I said, the scenario is often, you know, you've hit a good ball into one of the corners, you've made your opponent run. They've given you that mid-court ball. And what you don't want to do is allow them time to recover. You kind of want to take that ball top of the bounce, nice and early. Um, you know, you're looking to be aggressive and come, potentially come to the net afterwards. Um, you know, I'm just looking to really keep the pressure on my opponent. Um, like I said, after the shot, it's very likely you'll be looking to probably come forwards, take that ball out of the air, looking again to take time away from the opponent. I want to rush them. I want to make life difficult for them. So the most important thing to start with when you're looking at the mid-court ball is to get the footwork right. Um, like I said, you want to take this ball at the top of the bounce. That's really important. So I need to get up to the ball early. But obviously what, what happens with a lot of people is they end up kind of running at that ball and then they kind of run into it. And then because they've run into it, they're quite open and then it gets a little pushy through here. So what we're going to look at is actually something where I, I, I recommend you moving kind of like a banana shape. Actually, I, I want to create the space first and then come into the ball. So if I was moving for this ball here, I'd actually look to kind of come inside with some side steps to create the space. And now I can come into that space. And like you see, because I'm sidestepping, it's so much more measurable than if I just kind of run at it. If I run at it, I'm going to get too close. If I can take these little side steps inside the ball, so much more measurable and now I'm nice and balanced. And as you can see, because I'm behind the ball, it's going to be easy to get that weight transfer coming through. Similarly on this one, look, middle ball there, you know, I'd create the space first and then come into that ball. And then same on this one here. It's all about creating that nice early space so I can then come through the, the shot. The next most important thing we're going to look at is, like I said, making sure we're getting the contact point at the top of the bounce. What I see a lot of people doing correctly here is they actually get up to the ball too slowly and then they let that ball drop. You know, the difficulty now is because I'm higher up the court, the court's actually shorter. So if I'm letting that ball drop low, now I've got to be aggressive and now I've got to get the ball up and down into a very short amount of court. So it's really important I get up to that ball nice and early and can take it at the top of the bounce, preferably above the height of the net so I can just drive through it. So I'm going to use that footwork I just showed you and I'm going to look to take the ball, you know, early, look, top of the bounce. Coming inside the ball, top of the bounce. I don't want to take it on the rise. The top of the bounce is key. The final teaching point we're going to look at is actually the location of the shot. Uh, what I find a lot of people do in this situation is they actually go for broke. So they go right close to the line. You know, they go super aggressive and they go aggressive in terms of where they hit the ball. You know, if you watch the pros, what they'll do is they, they will go big. You know, they'll accelerate the racket head and they'll, they'll be aggressive, but they'll often play to quite safe targets. You know, it's what we call a margin for error. I'm going to make sure, you know, there's a kind of a foot or more either side. So just in case maybe I do hit it a little late, a little early or not as clean, that ball can still land. The other thing is it, I always feel people forget that angles can be a great shot in this mid-court ball as well. You know, I always see people going through the court like they're trying to beat someone. Actually, sometimes if, if it's the right ball, you know, you want to go for these shorter angles. So I don't have to go through someone. I can kind of more go around someone as well. So just to summarize what we went through today, we first looked at the footwork. So kind of using those little side steps to come inside the ball. Um, you know, I, I explained that banana shape where I'm, I'm creating space first. 
We then looked at taking the ball at the top of the bounce, so not letting the ball drop and taking it nice and early above the height of the net so I can just drive through it. And then we looked at being really aggressive, but keeping the location of the ball safe. So, you know, not going too close to the lines, giving myself that margin for error in case I don't hit it super clean that the ball might still land. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more vids.